Hey everyone, welcome back. This is part three, uh, showing you how to use Art Steps to create your own virtual exhibitions. So we're on step three. We're going to click on Add and Place Your Artifacts. Um, so over here, you'll see that there are some display cases, about five here. Um, and then down here is where you'll see all of your artifacts. And you have images, videos, 3D objects, and text. Um, you can see that I have a bunch in here from a previous exhibit. And um, if you, when, once you add in some artifacts, uh, they will be accessible to all of your exhibits. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. So the most common thing is, is that you're going to be placing some sort of image up here on the wall. So I'm going to click on Add Image. And then right here where it says Image, you can either use uh, an image from Flickr you can upload your own file or you can uh, choose something from a URL. Uh, most of you are going to be clicking on file. Um, then you can go ahead and either drag and drop the image uh, right here in the space or you can click to upload it. Um, images do need to be JPEG, PNG, or GIF files. So I'm going to go ahead and load one up. And there we go. Um, in general, you want to say that everything uh, that your image is opaque you must give it a title. And um, interactive can be clicked. Um, I think that that's a good idea because then when people are in the exhibit, they can click on the painting, go right to it, look at it with a really good view, and then they can find out information. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in a uh, brief uh, description here. OK, so um, once you're done typing in a description, uh, you can add in audio. That seems a little strange to add in audio on a painting, but um, that could be really cool. Um, let's see. And then you can go ahead and put in the dimensions, the width, and the height. Um, not as important, but it does give a nice professional look. And then go ahead and click on Save. So once you've hit Save, you'll see that my piece now shows up. So now you want to go ahead and I'm going to click on the painting here and it loads up and you'll see that as I move it around I can place it uh, pretty much anywhere I want. So I'm going to go ahead and place it on this uh, back wall here and I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm panning with my right mouse button and then when I click on the piece that's when I can go back and I can change any of the settings here Okay, so finishing up here, once you place a piece, um, you then get these axes arrows that you can then click on uh, and move it around on the X, Y, uh, and Z axis. Um, you will see a little eyeball icon that pops up from time to time, letting you know um, where the um, eye level is. It's a little tough to see, but you can kind of see it there, hopefully. So that way you can kind of place, um, place the piece. Then up here, and I know it's really small on my screen right now, I'm not sure why, um, this is where you get all your controls. So the first control will allow you to move the piece. Second control will allow you to rotate the piece. I'm not sure you'd want that or need that too much, but it's there. Um, third is so that you can scale the piece. So again, you can click um, it is pretty sensitive, um, so you just have to uh, you just have to move your mouse or your pinch your trackpad. Um, but this is really cool because now you can make your pieces be absolutely uh, huge, um, larger than life, um, and then go ahead and move them up. Um, and then the last one is the uh, is the delete, um, and then over here next to it you can actually give your pieces. Uh, different kinds of frames. So just try those. Uh, my favorite is the uh, standard black. And there we are. Okay, so last but not least, um, the display cases. So there's five of them. Um, and basically, um, what you do is you just click on them. They do bring out um, these 3D display cases, which are kind of cool. Um, you'll see this one here needs to be rotated. So again, um, you would need to click on uh, to rotate. I know it's really tiny, 
um, but you would find the ring that shows the axis that you'd want and then you could actually rotate it around and then you click on the move tool and go ahead and move it to where you want it to go uh, be careful that it's not going through a wall um, and then you can actually go ahead and um, place um, you can then place a painting um, and you can place it you know right um, over um, or on top um, I don't know if you can actually place it uh, on this but you can um, I believe you can actually place it down in here uh, you'd have to do a little bit of work to rotate the piece and actually put it in this black area here um, some of the other display cases are um, you can see this one here brings it out so that one's kind of a like a little frame display case um, here's another interesting one so you could I could take this piece here and I could um, I could move it over and put it inside uh, trying to aim for that little black area there um, of course I need to scale this down considerably and get it right in there so it will take a little bit of uh, trial and error to uh, get it just right. Um, something like that. There we go. Um, unfortunately, um, if you then move, and I can see that I'm, I'm off a little bit, um, the angle, your, your angle of when you're placing this, uh, does matter uh, incredibly. Let's see, and you can still see I'm still off. So rotate it around. The other issue with using display cases I found is that um, when you put it inside the display case, once you really get it in there, if you decide to move the display case like this, the piece doesn't go with it. So I'm not quite sure how you attach a painting uh, to a display case. Um, so there we are. Uh, when you are ready to view your pieces and see and check it, that they're at the right eye level and the right scale and the right rotation, click up here next to the save window, click on view. Um, it'll prompt you to save it. Always say yes. And then go ahead and view. You can click to move around. You can also use the W, A, S, and D keys to move around, and you can also use the arrow keys uh, to move around as well. So if I click on this piece over here, you'll see it automatically takes me to the piece, um, and then it pops up over here so I can see a thumbnail. It tells me the title of the piece and the description that I put uh, below. So here's another one here with a little bit of a more description, and that's what it looks like. All right. I hope this uh, I hope this video helped you out. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.